Hey guys, welcome back to Fire Ant Fishing and today I'm going to show you how I dry fitted my aeration system for my live well. I'm using a 500 gallon per hour aerator kit because it comes with everything that I need. I'm also using a bilge pump plumbing kit. Both of these were picked up at Academy Sports. So the first thing I did was take this two inch insulation board and fit it into the area where I want my live well to sit. It wasn't tall enough so I went ahead and added this half inch piece and stuck it down on top of it. And then when I put the live well on top, everything was centered and level. So then I went ahead and cut out my spot where my hose is gonna run. Next, I took my one and one eighth speed bit, drilled a hole as close to the bottom of the live well as I possibly could. Next, I took this connection piece that my hose is gonna run into and fit it onto the live well. Next, I connected the hose and then set the live well into place. I then had to figure out where my aerator pump was going to sit. So I placed this on, connected the hose, all while remembering that in case something happens to this pump, I need to be able to take it out easily. So if I do have to take it out, I'm going to disconnect it from here and then untwist it from here. That'll give me enough room to get this off in case I need to. Once I laid out how I wanted my system to look, I took this three quarter inch CPVC pipe and connected all the pieces. Once I had it all together, I fitted it in made sure once again that it was going to work the way I wanted it to. After making sure I had it where I wanted it, I made a mark for the hole where I want the pipe to go into. I didn't have a drill bit big enough, so I used the biggest one I had and then just kind of reamed it out a little bit and uh, it fit perfectly. On the left side of my system, I used a three quarter inch to half inch elbow. All of the CPVC plumbing that's inside of the live well was reduced to half inch in order to add pressure to the water being aerated. And then it was capped at the end. Once it was fitted and put together, took it apart and put it together on the inside of the live wall. All right guys, so to finish this off, I'm gonna elbow it here, and then this is gonna come out the side of the boat. So that's gonna be my, <clears throat> my pump out water. So the reason I did it like this and added these valves in here is because if I want to circulate the live well, I just shut this one. 
Okay, so the water is going to come in from underneath the live well up into the pump, go back out and aerate the live well. So at the end of the day, let's say I'm done, I have a full live well of water. I need to get it out. Switch this off. Oh gosh. Okay, got it. So I switch this off, close it, and then open this one. Boom, the water is now circulating up and then going out of the boat. So I know your next question is, how are you gonna get the water inside the live well? Well, that's gonna be my next uh, project portion of it. I still gotta get all the like plumbing pieces that I need. Everything came with that kit that I bought, except for this piece right here. I had to buy that at Home Depot. I lost the packaging for it, so I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I'm gonna have to buy another one, so I will be sure to let you know. But basically, it's just a threaded piece to uh, a non-threaded quarter, three-quarter inch piece. But other than that, guys, everything came with it, and all the other pieces were bought at Home Depot. The reason I used the CVPVC, CVPVC pipe is because that was the only thing that they had for all the pieces that I needed. I honestly don't know the difference between that and regular PVC, but. I'm going to go ahead and use it. I did buy special cement for it uh, to keep these pieces together. So I'll show you that when I get to that point. Uh, this was just a quick mock-up to uh, show you guys how I'm planning to do the live walk. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Um, give me some feedback on this video. I was trying to go everything really thoroughly uh, so that you understand how it's going because I didn't know anything about live wells until I started doing this. I had no clue and a lot of the videos uh, that you go to find on YouTube, they're not very descriptive. So I've said this before, but I want to make sure I go over the live well portion very well so that you know, have a really good idea how to do it yourself. So if you have any questions, comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, if you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe for future content. Thanks for watching.